I want to show you this website and I believe I've had it up on some of my videos before. But this is a really, really, really important website for you to go and dig around in or just watch and see what uh, I'm doing here. So um, this is Reg Info. You can just go to reginfo.gov and it, it, this website pops right up. This is an official website of the United States government. Okay, um, but what's important on here? Okay, well, to understand what they're doing here, what, I, what I'm going to explain to you is that almost everything the government does is outside of the Constitution, and they tell you that. And how do they tell you that? Uh, Executive Order 13132, and how did I find this? I went to Frequently Asked Questions Resources related resources and this comes up now when I click on this for me it doesn't come up but I already have a copy anyway so it just it never comes up but you see this is executive order 13132 federalism and I'm going to post these uh, links to these in the uh, description 13132 federalism okay so I didn't do anything this is exact same thing it has on here 13132 federalism 13132 federalism <clears throat> so the important thing is to understand these uh, definitions here okay for the purposes of this order and the purposes of this order includes the things on this website Okay, because it's here. And it has state and states, policies, agency, state and local officials, federalism. Okay, so federalism is rooted in the belief that issues that are not national in scope or significant are mostly appropriately addressed by the level of government closest to the people. You have to understand when it says the people, it's not talking about all the people of the United States, okay? Or all the people of the, um, all the people of America. It's talking about the people of the government, the government people. Okay, and we need to look at this one, which is G. You can find this in the Federal Register, and I'll post a link to it. Acts of the national government, whether legislative, executive or judicial in nature that exceed the enumerated powers okay that exceed the powers of that government under the Constitution violate the principle of federalism established by the framers okay so you see anything that's in violation of the Constitution which is the ideas of federalism um, goes against the uh, powers established by the framers, okay? Goes against the ideas of the framers. So let's go up here to regulatory review. And I just sort of search around in some of these things because I have no idea, or originally I had no idea what this website was. I just kind of came upon it. So we can go to like Department of the Treasury and let's just search Department of Treasury. So two things come up. Okay, receive date. This receive date was 5-11-2021. It's R-I-N and I'm not sure what that means, a uh, record something or other, some kind of record. Um, Here's some numbers. Treasury Customs is the agency, 1515, okay. Rule of title, non-preferential origin determinations for merchandise imported from Canada or Mexico for implementation of the agreement between the United States of America, the United Mexican States, and Canada. It's pending review. Let's click on that. It's not been published. Let's click on the next one. Okay, now we have a, um, a bunch of things we can choose from. What was that one for? That's for merchandise produced by 
convict or forced labor or indentured labor under penal sanctions. This is not anything authorized by the Constitution. So it's going to say that this, that this does not comply with the ideas of federalism. I will guarantee you that. Let's go up to the most recent fall 2021, fall 2020. Okay, so here's the pay-per-view rule. <clears throat> Some kind of regulatory rule. Um, this executive order is on all of these. Okay, so this executive order probably, I don't recall exactly, but probably says that, that this is a requirement. Okay, so merchandise produced by convicts. It has the agency, Department of Treasury. Okay, previously published in the Unified Agenda. That's a major concern, no. Executive Order, order 13771, designation regulatory. Here's your CFR citations. Unfunded mandates, no, that means it's, it's all funded. But the thing I want you to look at, because you can get familiar with some of these when you click on them is that it says federalism, no. Meaning it does not comply with the ideas of federalism. I've looked up, see this is Department of Treasury. I've looked through the Department of Treasury stuff. Um, and before, recently, before Biden was elected, they had a ton of papers in here. A ton of these on Treasury, Treasury stuff. And um, I went through them all, and they all said federalism, no. Government levels affected, none. So they, this, this whole thing does not comply with the ideas of federalism. And I think if you go back, this is just another, the same page, but it was um, what they had done previously. Let's go, um, let's go pick a different agency. Let's pick like, uh, um, I wonder if they have welfare, like a, a public health and welfare. I've never actually looked for that one. Federal Emergency Management, Maritime Commission, National, can't see down here. Temporary commissions, that might be interesting to look at. Let's go to Social Security Administration. Let's see if they have anything. Looks like I need to pick something else here. I don't want that in here. Nope. Let's go statutory. Nope. Payroll, final law, what's the final law? No. Mm -hmm. Trying to just find a different way to. Here we go. <clears throat> Regarding income related monthly adjustment amounts to medical. For Medicare beneficiaries, prescription drug premiums. Federalism, no. Okay, so it's it still has CFR sources. It has a public law. It has been in the Federal Register here and here. FR means Federal Register. And yet, even though it complies with all these things and has a legal authority, it still does not comply with the ideas of federalism. That means this is voluntary. So if it's voluntary, how come it's still a public law? You can click on these too. Here's the public law. Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. 
So many, 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 many things, almost all of the things that they do does not comply with the ideas of federalism. Amendment to regulations regarding eligibility for medical or Medicare prescription drugs subsidy. So they take money from you and they call it taxes and they say everybody has to pay so they can do all this stuff that nobody actually has to do. It's a corporation. This is the corporation part because it's not in the Constitution. Government levels affected none. Small entities affected none. And so a lot of people think that when it says small business that it's talking about the regulation of small businesses. And even though the government does want to regulate everybody's small business, they actually don't have the authority to regulate small private owned businesses. They only have, um, they only regulate the things that have to do with defense, first of all, because that's in the constitution. But their small businesses are actually things like um, uh, small school districts. So school districts, stuff like that. So when they say the regulation of small businesses, they're really talking about like school districts and like the environmental protection offices, OSHA offices, departments of labor, which are, are, are all voluntary. They're all voluntary. They're not, um, they're not constitutional. They can't force it on you, even though they do. Okay, so these are amendments, and look, they've got all these Code of Federal Regulation citations saying where they get their legal authority to do this, but there's actually no legal authority at all because it's not in federalism. It's not doesn't comply with the ideas of federalism. And... Um, oops. I wish you could see down here because it always has a point of contact. And I went through and collected a whole bunch of um, emails from these pages. And I started emailing these people a, um, a, a paper on the um, jurisdiction from the jurisdiction book. And I'll pull that up real quick because it says in here that they don't have jurisdiction. They know they don't. But they need to know that we know that they don't. So they only have authority on federal lands. And even then, only to do the things in the Constitution. But everything else they do is quote-unquote voluntary. But they tell you you have to. So this is from this inventory report, legislative jurisdiction over federal areas within the state. You see it says over federal areas within the states. Also called, they also call these federal areas states and many other things. Exclusive means that they can do everything on those lands that's in the constitution. Concurrent means that they can do some of those things on the lands to which the state allows them to do. But they they're supposed to do them for themselves. They're not supposed to do them to private people because contrary to what most people believe, the federal government was never given the right to um, uh, regulate the regular just private people inside the states. They were only um, given the right to regulate the people who go on to the federal lands. And if you're in the military, you already know that. Or you should anyway. Most veterans know that. And that's why you find most most veterans fighting against the government. Because once you've been in the military, they teach you pretty much all this stuff. And they, they tell you how they don't have authority to do many of the things that they do. It's just that a lot of people, they don't put two and two together. I talked in a recent video about how um, one of the neighbors here... Uh, during the ice storms here in Texas, his pipes in his house froze and he didn't understand why because uh, he turned off the water the way the HOA said. 
And I asked him, but there was still water in the pipes because you didn't let the water out of the pipes. Well, this guy's a chemist. I mean, he should have known that. And he didn't think about it. So there are many veterans who they should know this stuff and they just don't think about it. They don't put two and two together because they've been brainwashed for so long. They've been brainwashed and they, they don't think because they just want other people to think for them and they believe, and I'm guilty too. I do it all the time and I have to catch myself and tell myself, no, think for yourself. What does this really mean? So I'm asking you to do that too. And if you want to, if you want this, I can put the link to this in the um, description also. I found these, I find these on online libraries. Okay, so the federal government has authority on federal lands and everything they do outside of the Constitution and off the federal lands is not uh, by force. It can't be by force. Even though the one thing we saw on the forced labor of um, of um, prisoners, uh, they also does not comply with the ideas of federalism federalism yet they use the word force well force would be okay if someone had committed a federal crime on federal lands and was at some place like Fort Leavenworth but forced labor in state prisons or private prisons are are uh, are not governed by the federal government even though they do try to govern that stuff force you know I have um, a stepson, well, I have two sons, I have my natural son and I have a stepson and they, you know, and I'm the mom and dad is usually gone at work and I can't tell you how many times they tried to get me to bend to their will. It's just the nature of being human, I think. Let's look at this one. Restoring faith in our legal immigration system and strengthening integration. How do you restore faith in something legal? And if you do some research on that, that right there just sounds off. Rule not published in the unified agenda. Why not? I wonder why not. It doesn't have federalism here. Stages of pre rolls. Dodd Frank, Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act. No, it doesn't comply with that. Economically significant? No. So, restoring faith in the legal immigration system and strengthening integration and inclusion efforts for new Americans. Okay, not new citizens of the United States, but new Americans is not ex economically significant. Pandemic response, no. So it's, I feel like almost everything they do is just BS. It's just to create work, create markets, create jobs, create power. Power that's not actually there because it's not in the Constitution. Let's go educate. I wish they had something in here on, maybe they do and I missed it, on um, public health and welfare so I could look up like vaccines, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, Executive Office of the President. That might be interesting to look at. Like I said, I just dig around in here because I really don't know what I'm doing exactly. But um, I have emailed a few people about this, a few people in government, and then I've done a little bit of research on it. And I, from one guy, 
a, I think a lieutenant in the Coast Guard, he sent me a big, huge packet on federalism and what it meant, and then going through the executive orders. But as far as like running or, or digging through this website, I, I don't really know exactly what all this stuff means. So model policy for protection of human subjects, request for public comment. Subjects to me would be um, in the military because they have no sovereignty. They have no sovereignty, so they would be subjects. <clears throat> and I believe that's what it means in the Constitution. But that was interesting. Legal deadline, none. International impacts uncollected. So there used to be a whole lot more of these economically significant no than there are now. So the Trump administration and like every administration before him had done tons and tons and tons of these. Now you hardly find any. Maritime Commission, Mediation and Conciliation Service. for the Office of Management and Budget because they approve all the forms. Office of Management Budget approves all the forms and then puts a number on it. Let's see if they got anything up. Application of Cost Accounting Standards Board Regulations to Educational institution, Institutions, 48 Code of Federal Re uh, Regulation Part. Now, see, just because it has a, a CFR doesn't mean it's an actual law. Government levels affected none. So they pass all this stuff and it doesn't even affect the government. Included in the regulatory plan, no. That doesn't say anything about federalism, application of cost accounting, office of management, and budget. I wonder if because they approve all the forms that they don't have to comply with the federalism so they don't even put it on there. There's nothing in the Constitution about the government forcing forms down our throats. This never works for me. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So you can go through here and look at these, but I, I, I encourage <clears throat> you all, if you want to do something interesting and just look around and see how I come to some of my um, conclusions about things. You can go on to some of these websites and just sort of dig around in here. And you can even get contacts. They don't hardly ever answer. A few of them may here and there, but mostly they don't answer. Cost Accounting Standard Board Establishment of Rule and Procedures. Economically Significant No. Stage, it's in the final rule. Dodd Frank, uncollected. I don't really know what that means. It's not been published. Controlling paperwork burdens. Um, I think in this OMB <clears throat> Paperwork Reduction Act is not actually a positive law, meaning it's not really a law. That was 44, right? Okay, public printing and documents, it is a positive law. It has the asterisk. It says C, um, it says C preamble.
how can it use um, how can it use a, a source, a legal authority, and then it's not there. Forty four USC thirty five. So here's the numbers back here. I said thirty five. You'll see thirty five. Coordination of Federal Information Policy. That does not matter. I don't know what their preamble is on here. where the preamble would be. <clears throat> I would think in the front matter. But they have it uh They have the paper that comes up, like the last one I clicked on, and it, I think, had a preamble. Let's look at something else. Let's go back to, I think it might have been this one. Where would the preamble be? Hmm. <clears throat> okay, well, I just wanted to show you all this website. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is a preamble. Data churn, government contract cost accounting. Okay, so um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this website. Hope that you go dig around in it and look up the federalism executive order. You can read all these other things here. Circulars, all of these circulars. You'll find in here that all their forms are advertisements. Okay, so all your um, IRS forms are advertisements. You don't have to fill them out including the one you get when you get a job and they say you have to fill it out. Um, you actually don't. But uh, if you don't fill it out, the employer, you know, they get scared and they think, well, I'm going to get in trouble if I have an employee that doesn't fill out the form. You know, so here you got to fill out a form to pay, pay taxes as a contractor and that's not true either. You know, that means you, you agree to pay your own taxes, but if you agree to pay your own taxes, then you're just still agreeing to pay taxes. Many people can't get licenses, even though they're not required by law. So, um, yeah, this is a really telling website on finding out what is law and what is not law. Most of it's not. Even just the executive order 13132 on federalism proves that most of what they do is not law. It can't be law. It can't be law. They don't have the right to, to make anything outside of the Constitution. But they do, and then you agree to it, and then once you agree to it, it becomes a contract, and then the contract is the law because laws are in contracts, and contracts are law. So you agree, and then it becomes law. Okay, so think about that and then go check out this website. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun finding out things that you didn't know before. Okay, so I'll post everything in the um, description.
description all the links so you can find these places and look at all this stuff. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I really depend on you guys to share my videos with people because uh, I've been banned from most social media websites. Okay, so uh, take care.